Oh man. Yeah. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm not sure, but uh, UPS is not a company that I can recommend when you're sending anything across the world. For example, package and everything that I ordered from one how replacement parts for the D9 oh man label created on the 23rd of November shipped on the 25th of November departure scan on the 25th from Wenzhou China arrival scan 25th Shanghai your package will be held at the warehouse until it is released by the clearance agency that was on the 26th then again your package was released by the custom agency on the 26th transportation accident has delayed delivery also on the 26th your package is being processed at the clearance agency again on the 26th export scan Shanghai your package was released by the custom agency on the 26th and we're still on the 26th yeah your package was released by the customs agency and then that was on the 26th, yeah? And then, all of a sudden, Notun, Germany. Duties or taxes are due on this package on the 26th. Import COD. Charges are due for the shipment. Yeah? That's all on the 26th. And then, now on the 27th, we're back in Shanghai. Departure scan. Incheon, Korea on the 27th, arrival scan, scan. Uh, still on the 27th, we are unable to load the package on the plane as scheduled. And then again, and that was at 12.04, and then 12.08, also on the 27th, we were unable to load the package on the Plane as scheduled, your package was released by the clearance, the clearing agency. And then, twenty seventh, Ichun, Korea, departure scan. On twenty seventh, Köln, Germany, arrival scan. Köln, Cologne, yeah. It's 200 kilometers south from me. When something lands there with UPS, normally, just like with the printer, landed there on one day, and on the next day it was delivered. That's how fast they were within Germany. But uh, for some strange reason, don't ask me why, scheduled delivery. Tuesday, December 3rd. Estimated time by end of day. <laughs> oh, man. And normally, UPS says delivery time one to two days. One to two days worldwide. Oh, man. Absolutely irresponsible. Yeah, but uh, anyway, I'm still waiting for the new main board and a couple other parts for the one how D9. Can't tell you for sure if I'm going to be printing this year or not. We'll see. But uh, yeah, today is the 29th. Can't wait until the 1st of December comes. And I can get rid of this stuff. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. NSN, No Shave November. Oh, man. This stuff is... Yeah. About time that I get rid of it. But, uh, yeah. Just wanted... Just wanted to let y'all know. Not that you think, oh, Don's not making any videos or anything. <laughs> I'm still waiting for parts so that I can start making videos again. <laughs> but anyway, oh yeah, and well, the best, if they repair parts, under guarantee, normally, in such a case, you don't have to pay any taxes. Yeah? One how? too stupid to realize oh wait a minute he's he's re, he's ordering a replacement board and some other parts well okay uh, that's the repair parts yeah and I told him hey normally this is under guarantee when I ordered all of this they should have marked that package as it's a replacement parts under guarantee and then just right on top of it cost 25 US dollars for postage and not mention anything else. Yeah? But what did they do? They didn't write anything, so the package was inspected. And according to what the pri prices normally would be, well, 43 euros and 50 cents has to be paid on tax. But one thing's for sure, I'm not going to pay it. That's for sure. Because I'm going to argue until the day of dawn with UPS Customs. We'll see what they will say. <laughs> but anyway, until the next time, y'all take care now. Hopefully we'll see each other soon with new updates. Till then, bye.